the uh, Cooperative Extension Vegetable Specialist for the University of Maine. And what I'd like to talk to you about today is basket weaving of tomatoes. What we have here is a determinate tomato variety that we're going to show you how we would do basket weaving with. Uh, I should also say that we can do this with both determinate or the bush plants or the indeterminate plants. Uh, this system works with either one. What you're going to need uh, to do the basket weaving, you'll notice that we have uh, grade stakes put in. We usually do one stake every three plants or every two plants. And uh, these are four foot stakes. They're driven in the ground about a foot. If you're going to basket weave indeterminate plants, I would suggest you use a five foot stake so that you have about a four foot stake uh, for the plants to grow up on. The next thing you're going to need is some tomato twine. Now you can buy boxes of tomato twine. It's a three pound box of twine. You'll notice it's got a couple holes so you can put it through your, put your belt through this and wear it on your hip. Uh, if you don't want to buy a big box of twine, you can buy smaller uh, ball holders for twine and roll your own ball of twine. Uh, but you want to have something that you can wear on your hip. So you see I've got my ball of twine on my hip. The other thing I'm using is a small piece of PVC pipe. This is half inch pipe. It's roughly about 18 inches long. And you'll see that I'm just going to use this as a wand. These tomatoes already have one tie on them. It's about eight inches off the ground. Uh, it's just the beginning where we've grown about a foot and we're ready for another tie. So here we go. I'm going to take our string. We're going to tie it to our end stake. So we're going to use our wand to reach down in and we're simply going to go in and out around the plants. So we'll start here. We'll come around this one, around this one. And when we get to the stake, We'll take a, a half turn around the stake and we'll use the pipe to pull the string tight. Make another turn or two and we'll just continue down the row. When we get to the last stake we might take a couple extra turns and now we come back going around on the alternate side. When we get to the end, a couple extra turns with the string. And then we can cut it. And then just tie it off. So today we've been talking about basket weaving of tomatoes. And you may be asking yourself, why would I want to basket weave tomatoes? A couple of reasons. Getting the tomatoes up off the ground, you're going to improve the fruit quality. You're going to lose less fruit to rots. You're going to uh, lose less fruit to stepping on them. Uh, it's going to be easier to find them, easier to harvest. Also, having the plants up off the ground helps reduce the amount of foliar diseases that the plants will experience. Most commercial tomato production now is done on some sort of basket weave system. Uh, and it's something that can work well for a home garden. You'll see here we've got roughly 15 plants, maybe uh, 20 plants. Um, we can do this with as few as six plants. Other benefits of doing basket weaving compared to tying tomatoes or staking individual tomatoes You'll see for the 15 plants, we're only using six stakes. So we can reduce the number of stakes we need to have. In the end, you're going to have basically a hedge of tomatoes. 